Well, good evening. My name's Tom. I come to you from the rustic log cabin up here in northern Maine. Well, this is day three of the muzzle loading season for up here. Uh, so far, uh, we, we only get six days for muzzle loading season in, in northern Maine. Uh, Monday night came in and rained like cats and dogs. We've got over three inches of rain, high winds. Uh, I've got trees down all over the place. I had to actually move three trees out of my I have a little path that goes out to my hunting area. So this morning that was the first thing I needed to do. Got that out of the way. It was it was a light wind all day. And it's it's been sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy. No rain at least, thank goodness. Yesterday yesterday it rained uh, nonstop, nonstop. So today was I was actually expecting to see something today, and good news I did. <laughs> I didn't see a buck. We can only take a buck up here, but at uh, 20 minutes of dark, well it, it gets dark, hunts over at quarter after four, and at uh, 20 minutes of four, I had a uh, a doe come out, 20 feet from the tree. No more been a beautiful bow shot. But I'm after that buck, so I was on the edge of my seat after that because I've shot a lot of bucks after a doe or two does have come through. So I was just sitting there waiting for the buck to do the exact same thing that doe did. But then it got dark. But I climbed, I climbed down about 20 after four, I guess. About dark as the ace of spades. <laughs> but. I'm back here at the cabin. I was just updating my little camp diary I'm putting together for you guys. You can probably hear the wood stove going in the background. I was cold out there. You know, when the wind's blowing, it's awful hard to get comfortable. And I normally don't see much uh, when the wind is blowing, but the wind was it was strong, but it, it was in my favor, so that was good. But the other thing is it really wasn't moving the trees that much. So this doe, uh, she, she, she was under the tree for 15 minutes. What she was feeding on was I had a spruce tree about 10 inches across that came down right beside my tree stand. Luckily it missed my tree stand by about uh, 10 feet. So <laughs> 10 feet the other way I wouldn't have had a stand anymore. But what she was doing, why she stood around so long, is she came up to that tree, and that tree was covered with lichen, and she was she was eating the the lichen, so that was nice. And one time, she uh, stood to her feet and whipped around and was looking looking back where she came from for the longest time. So I was hoping that there was a I was hoping that there was another deer coming right behind her. You know, she can hear and smell a whole lot more than I can. So, uh, and see. So she was looking in the right direction. So I was crossing my fingers and hoping there was a buck that was going to come out. <laughs> so anyways, I'm finally back here to the cabin. Got the fire going. I made a huge meatloaf last night. Uh, so I'm going to wrap that up in tin foil, and when this fire gets down to a bed of coals, I'll be throwing that meatloaf in on top of those coals, and we'll warm that up. Carrots and potatoes and meatloaf cooking in the wood stove tonight for supper after a long day in the tree stand. What we got? We got today is Wednesday, so I've got uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday still to hunt. I got three more days, and I think the weather might be in my favor. I don't. I think it's going to be cloudy, but I don't think it's going to be rainy. So, but we'll see. You know, being at camp. 
But just seeing that doe, boy, that makes my day. And to have her not know I'm there is, is, is that's, that's where it's all at, let me tell you. She was down there feeding. She didn't have a care in the world. And she didn't know I was there from nothing. And when it was time for her to leave, she just wandered off in the woods just like she came in. And when you're sitting in your stands, that's exactly what you want. Or your ground blinds, all of that. Because that means you have completely uh, fooled that deer. So that's, and I'm not using any cover scents. I'm not using any body scents. I'm not using any of that stuff. I've been here for just under three weeks. So I have a shower out back. You take a shower. But it's all working with the wind. Like I said, the wind was in my favor. And that's the only way I set in these different blinds that I have set up. So that's, and to trick that deer after being here for three weeks and uh, like I said, no, 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 no uh, gadget sense or any of that stuff. Cover sense, just me, my rifle, and the deer. And that's just the way I like it. 